I'm Mr Parker and this is question 5 on the OCR Mechanics 1 paper from January 2010. For more questions on this exam paper, click the link here or check in the video description. The velocity time diagram represents the motion of two cyclists A and B who are travelling along a horizontal straight road. At a time t equals 0, A who cycles with constant speed 8 meters per second overtakes B who has initial speed 3 meters per second. From time t equals 0, B cycles with constant acceleration for 20 seconds. When t equals 20, her speed is 11 meters per second, which she subsequently maintains. In part 1, we need to find the value of t when A and B have the same speed. Looking at the graph, we can see cyclist A here cycling with constant speed, and cyclist B accelerating until t equals 20, and then travelling with constant speed after that. The point when they're both travelling with the same speed is just here on the graph, so we're interested in this first section of the graph here. We'll start by thinking about our equations of motion. We know cyclist A has a velocity of 8 meters per second, and for cyclist B we can use the SUVA equations to find out what the time taken is when the velocity is 8 meters per second here. We know the initial velocity here is 3, the final velocity here is 8 meters per second. For the acceleration, we can't exactly just read it off the graph, but we can work it out in a fairly straightforward manner. So to find the acceleration, if it's a straight line, that implies constant acceleration, and all that means is we look at how much the velocity has changed and how long that took, so the change in velocity divided by the change in time. Instead of using just this small segment there, because we don't know the time at this point, we're going to use all the way up to 20 seconds here. So the change in velocity is 11 subtract 3 and the time it takes to do that is 20 seconds. 11 take 3 is 8, which gives us 8 over 20, which is 4 over 10, or 0.4 meters per second squared. So we now know the acceleration. We don't know the time it takes, that's what we're trying to work out. So looking at our information here, we've got V, U, A, and we're trying to find T. So we want to use V equals U plus A, T. Substituting in the values, we get 8 equals 3 plus 0.4 T. Subtracting 3 gives 5 equals 0.4t, and dividing through by 0.4, that's the same as doing 50 divided by 4, and we get 12.5 seconds. In part 2, we need to calculate the value of t when b overtakes a. A common misconception would be to think that that's just the point here, because that's when the graphs intersect. But remember, this is a velocity time graph and not a displacement time graph, so that won't work. What we're actually looking for is when they've travelled the same distance, because after that point, B will go off ahead. So this really is a question about the displacement of the two cyclists. Starting with cyclist A, the displacement given by the area underneath the line is going to be the area of a rectangle. If we imagine that the cyclist travels the distance we want in a time capital T, to find that displacement, we would do 8 multiplied by T. So for cyclist A, the displacement is 8t. For cyclist B, the area is a little bit more complicated. So the area of this trapezium will be a half multiplied by the sum of the parallel sides. So that's 3 plus 11 multiplied by the height of the trapezium, which is 20. And then we need to add on the area of this rectangle. So the height of the rectangle is 11. And for the other side of the rectangle, we have to be quite careful. Remember, the whole length from 0 to here is t, but we don't want the bit from 0 to 20. So the length of this rectangle is t minus 20. Now that we have an expression for the displacement of both cyclists, we can use the fact that we want their displacement to be the same at the point when they overtake. So all we need to say is that 8t equals this expression here. We'll simplify this a little bit by multiplying out brackets. First of all, we'll do 3 plus 11, that's 14. Half it's 7. 7 times 20 is 140. Expanding the bracket on the right, we get 11t, and then we're going to subtract 220. To simplify further, we'll subtract 8t from both sides, and that'll give us 3t on this side. And we'll add the 220 and subtract the 140 to leave us with 8t on this side. From here, we just need to do 80 divided by 3, and that gives us 26.7 if we round to three significant figures. In part 3, on a single diagram, we need to sketch the displacement time graphs for the two cyclists from time t equals 0 until after b has overtaken a. Let's think first about cyclist a. Cyclist a travels with a constant velocity. 
velocity on a displacement time graph is the gradient of the line. That means we need to draw a straight line with a gradient of 8 and it should look something like this. That shows us that cyclist A is traveling away from the start at a constant rate so every second it will travel the same distance away. Cyclist B is a little bit more complicated. As her velocity is increasing between 0 and 20 seconds, that means the gradient of a line must be getting steeper, and we get something like this. Remember that the velocity is represented by the gradient of the line, so the line's not too steep to start with, and the line gets steeper as we go along in time, until at a specific point, t equals 20, it should then be a straight line like a. But this straight line here should be steeper than this straight line because the velocity is faster and that means the gradient should be steeper. Remember this is only a sketch so it doesn't have to be perfect, you don't need to mark on 20 seconds or anything like that. The important point is that A is a straight line here and that B is curved. Strictly speaking it should be a parabola but it doesn't have to be perfect, all that needs to happen is that the velocity needs to increase as we go along and then ideally at some point it should start to go in a straight line which is steeper than the straight line for cyclist A. So this point where they cross is where cyclist B overtakes cyclist A.